Yep, you are reading that right. This is Metroid Dreadnought. Yet another in this long line of crazy Doom mashups. We've had Super Mario Doom, we've had Sonic Doom, and now we've got esteemed bounty hunter Samus Aran gracing Doom with her awesome, awesome presence. This is a ridiculous game. Unfortunately, it's in work in progress, so there isn't a dedicated single-player campaign yet, but there's enough stuff in place here that I can show you what it's like through the standard Doom 2 campaign and give you an idea of how broken <laughs> this makes it. Because you can completely screw around with the existing mechanics of Doom 2, bypass all sorts of stuff, and completely wreck house. Because Samus Aran is badass, to put it simply. People that are familiar with Metroid Prime will kind of know what to expect from this, but for everyone else, let's just jump in and I'll show you exactly what it's all about. We're gonna pick Chozo Warrior as our difficulty because all the others below it, believe it or not, are just far too easy. And at least this will give you a bit more of an idea of the, the flavor of what it's going for. Okay, so we got, we got our head-up display, we've got our beam cannon, and we've also got five of something in our inventory. What could that be? Oh, oh, it's, it's missiles. And it's just made them into pate. And those guys too. Oh my god. It is ridiculously overpowered. I'm just gonna steam through this first stage, and I'm sure this'll open your eyes to what I mean by having this mod break the base game completely. <laughs> it is just so overpowered. Now, think back if you've ever played Doom 2, you start off with a pistol. Can you imagine a pistol wrecking house this quickly? No, you cannot. And to top it off, we got access to a super missile tank. I love that. I love the fact that it's got the original pickup noise. It's it's just a total nostalgia trip for me. Also, Samus can jump ridiculously high, and that's uh, exacerbated somewhat when you get the super jump pickup, the space jump, which means you can double jump in Doom 2. It's crazy. This game was never built for that. <laughs> so in fact, we're just gonna breeze through this, and I'm gonna show you what the super missiles are all about gonna access a hidden area down here. Come on, lift, hurry up. Got people waiting to see the majesty of the super missile. And what it can do to a group of imps. So when we flick that switch, we get access to this area. And we're gonna hold down our secondary fire. And they're gone. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much gone. We got more missiles. And we've also got the spacer beam. I don't know if that's the correct spelling. To be honest, I, I have not played Metroid Prime. I really, really, really wanna. But my expertise here is more with the uh, original Metroid and Super Metroid. I'm just gonna show you what the Spazer does on Power Up. And I probably should show you what the or original Beam Cannon does on Power Up as well. Let, let's just say it creates a mess. Not with imps. For some reason, they don't go splat quite as much as the regular zombie soldiers, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We're gonna steam ahead. That was entryway, the first level. We've comprehensively murdered everything in there. And we're gonna do the same to underhauls, and this is where I'll be able to show you just how this mod affects progress in the game. So, uh, first of all, you have to let off at least one shot before you can power up your cannon. And then you can murder everyone. And you can also Morph Ball, which is ridiculously useful, as you can see here. And I'm going to lay a few bombs, and, uh, yep, they're dead. <laughs> morph Ball does mean you take more damage if you're shot at while in that form, so uh, you want to use it kind of sparingly. But in terms of getting around the stages, it can open up a lot of interesting shortcuts, as I'm just about to demonstrate. So we're going to swap back into Morph Ball, and we're just going to slip through this gap. You can't normally do that in regular form. Oh damn, I'm taking, man. taking a bit of damage. But yeah, in normal form, you can't fit through. I'm just gonna power this up, show you what it does to a zombie soldier. It makes him... Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna swap back to the spacer beam. That's gonna make it a lot easier to clean out the rest of these guys. Boom, boom, boom. boom. And I'm going to show you the whole stage here because there is an extra beam pickup in this stage that is 
also ridiculously powerful. Are you sensing a theme here? These beam cannons are all ridiculous in terms of the damage that they can do, and I love it. It's ridiculous. I, I love these power trips that just let you go absolutely nuts and wreck the shop. And we're just going to get a super missile ready for these. And yeah. <laughs> they're the just cannon fodder. Absolute cannon fodder. Plasma beam, I'd say, is more similar to the shotgun. It's kind of in the place of where the, uh, the super shotgun or the, the sawn off double barreled shotgun would normally be in the original game. But what we're going to do, we're going to charge this baby up and uh, see how many people it can cut through because we've got a lot of enemies up here and we're going to take a lot of damage if we don't clean these guys out relatively quick there we go nicely done and there's more people loitering around here let's see if we can get these guys seems to be in a little bit of a hidden section how are we going to get up there? well, we just jump like so it, it just makes it ridiculously easy we got extra armor which means Enemies are going to have to try twice as hard in order to kill us now. If it wasn't hard enough for them. I'm going to just swap back and get through here. And um, we need a blue key so we can finish this stage. And we're just going to get around this way. Now normally I would have had to unlock, unlock even, a red gate to get around to this side. Because uh, there's normally obstructions in the way. But because of the morph ball... It's just allowed me to completely circumvent a section of the game. Now, this is why I'm looking forward to a dedicated campaign being made for this game. At the moment, it, it's mainly... Its main use is in a multiplayer capacity. I've yet to find enough people playing to uh, get a grip of that, but I can imagine it's ridiculously fun. But instead, we're just going to deal with these guys, completely blow their heads off, and hopefully we'll run into a Cacodemon soon, because those have much bigger health pools, are much more of a challenge, and allow us to do a little bit more dodging instead of just rampant murder, as we're seeing here. But anyway, that's the Underhauls deal dealt with, even. And we're going to enter the Gantlet. I'm, I'm sure that's supposed to spell Gauntlet, but oh well, typos. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's just total power trip, and <laughs> there's a bit of a freeze frame going on there. We've got an extra missile tank, and we got a bunch of dead imps. Perfect. I'm going to top up our armor, and I'm going to swap the plasma beam back over to the spacer. It'll help me take out more than one at a time. And I could totally skip everything in this level right now if I wanted to, and I'm going to show you how. Let me just get rid of these annoying intruders. Now normally, you can't jump up here. Doom guy can't jump up. But Samus can. And oh my god. That's the end of the stage over there. Right there. Normally you have to get into that teleporter to get back over there. And by doing so, I do miss out on a few interesting bits and pieces. So I am going to try and pick up extra beams here. Oh god, that's satisfying. More than anything, it's because of the little click before a super missile goes off. <laughs> you know it's ready, you can unleash it, and I better be careful with those guys. They have a much bigger health pool than everyone else, and I'm gonna have to... Oh, they're killing themselves, that's helpful. There we go. Oh, wait, no, another one. We got him, we got him. Everything's fine, everything's fine. And I'll notice down here, we've got yet another beam which is the wave beam. And this is really good for clearing out enclosed spaces. And I'm going to charge it up and show you exactly why if I don't die. Oh god. Oh god, I'm in I'm in a bad spot. I died. I died. You know what I was saying about the game being a bit too easy? Yeah. <laughs> that was a lie. It can get tricky if you allow yourself to be surrounded you are setting yourself up for a fall. But at least now we know what to expect. I'm going to use a hell of a lot more missiles and uh, just clear the path a little bit more comprehensively. There we go. We're going to stick to the plasma cannon. It's much more powerful. It's going to do a lot more damage. We're going to get a lot more bang for our buck. 
There we go. <laughs> it's just no less satisfying. It's that little pause before you unleash hell. Aww. My other super missile didn't really do what I intended it to do. But as you can see, with this difficulty, there are a hell of a lot more of these enemies around than you'd <laughs> normally find. Normally find, even, in a regular campaign. So I am gonna go and pick this up first now. Because it'll make it a bit easier for me to get through that big old group of people. Because the ice beam pretty much just freezes people in their place and you can make them explode. It's, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to do the same for all the people down here that made my life hell in that previous run. And now I'll be able to show you what the wave beam does. <laughs> I actually need to find out what the ice beam does when it's charged. That will be rather cool. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to loop back around. I I'm not quite sure what that does. I think it's just a, a more powerful beam charge. Anyway, let's go back to the wave. And what this can do is actually quite fun. Yeah, it does that, which is awesome. And it does deal quite a lot of damage but it waits until it's hit the first enemy and then it spreads out with all those extra projectiles, which is really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing how all this would be implemented in the final game. So I'm just going to scooch through here, get through to the last part. We just need to pick up that red key, get rid of these pinkies. Oh, kaboom. There we go. And we don't really need to deal with any of the other people down here because uh, we can just skip them. We can just hide up here and mock them from up high. I'm going to use the wave beam and uh, mock them even more. Oh, there we go. And you can see just how many of them were taken out by that. A fairly decent amount. Not too many. And we got all these invisible pinkies down here who we don't really need to deal with. I just want to show you as much of this as possible through the eyes of Samus Aran and how badass she is. She just makes the campaign ridiculously easy. I mean, now entering the focus, this is probably where my experience fades a little bit. I haven't played this far into Doom 2 for quite a while, so I'm probably going to make all sorts of stupid mistakes, so bear with me if you're a veteran. <laughs> I apologize. Like a veteran probably would have known about those chain gun guys. But not me, because I suck. But not like it matters. I've got all this awesome bounty hunter armor on. I've got all these guys to take out. I just realized that I was out of missiles. So I'm probably going to have to charge this up. Wait. There we go. I'm a little low on energy. I should probably do something to rectify that. Ah, there we go. Energy. Precisely what the doctor ordered. And I should have probably saved that missile. <laughs> we now get a blue key, which means we can get around to... I don't think there's any easy way through this stage. I think you have to pretty much toe the line in terms of where you're heading. Let's switch back over to Spazer. Now, I have tried popping up the with my Morph Ball. Doesn't quite work. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to have to do it on foot. Which is, you know, horrible, I know. How dare we? How dare we have to do it this way? And we're just going to skip all of that nastiness in there. I'm trying to hold on to as much energy as I can. Because I don't want to have to restart a stage again like I did earlier. Now, I know there's going to be trouble around here. So, I'm going to switch it over to the enhanced wave beam. As soon as I pick this up... There we go. And... Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We don't want to die just yet. Oh man, that is bad luck. But not unrectifiable. We've got some extra energy there. We've, we've reset ourselves back to 99. But you can see that it is really easy to slip up. It is really easy to lose health. And that's probably why it's balanced in such a way that there is tons of energy containers around. But at this difficulty, I would have expected there to be less. I'm just going to have to find a switch around here so I can 
get this drawbridge up. Are we in the right place? Yes, we are. But as you can see, we're steaming through this. We're steaming through this. We're only about, what, 15 minutes in? And I can't remember how many stages we got to our first main boss. The Waste Tunnels. Okay. It's gonna be... Oh wait, that just changed. I think that's because we already have the Plasma Cannon. It just substitutes it for something else. So we got more missile space, which is awesome. Oh, gonna have to be careful. We got more of these chain gun guys. We're doing well. We're doing okay. Oh boy. I'm just repeatedly eating my words here. I'm saying I'm fine, we're doing great, and then I just eat a face full of lead. That is not how Samus rolls, goddammit. There we go. Okay, we're gonna stay on the power beam here. Actually, is this anything extra? No. And it's very dark down here. Okay, we're, we're just gonna stay out the way of everyone else. And get through this stage as quickly as we can. I'm pretty sure this is a hidden part. I'm gonna switch to a more powerful beam. But this is so dark. I'm gonna have to turn the brightness up on this. <laughs> it's all dark and gloomy and very much doomy. But, as I say, I am very much looking forward to dedicated campaign levels being made for this that will actually take more advantage of the playstyle that is created by having the character of Samus in it. Because, despite us having, you know, the beam cannon, despite us being able to jump ridiculously high and having energy and all that kind of stuff and power-ups, it doesn't quite totally feel like Metroid. It feels like Doom, with a really entertaining add-on, I might add, but, um, yeah, there's still a little bit of work to go. But it is, if you fancy, I say, having a little bit of a mess around, this is definitely something I recommend you check out. All you'll need is a copy of either GZ Doom or Zendorum, and you will be able to dick around to your heart's content. Also provided that you have a copy of Doom and Doom 2, because you're going to need those original files in order to mess around with stuff like this. So yeah, pretty important, pretty important stuff. One more switch to flick. We can head back out. Cool. More douchebags to take care of. I'm going to finish this stage and call it a day. But I'm sure there's a few more bits and pieces. I'm going to play a bit with the ice beam. Because... <laughs> oh yeah, you can just freeze them in their place. They do, I think, eventually defrost. But it is quite entertaining just to see them explode into bits and pieces. And one thing that's really odd about playing this is the fact that you don't really have an ammo pool for this. It's just infinite. You don't really need to worry. <laughs> I wish it was in some way tied into your energy or health. That would really help in balancing it out, but for now, considering this is version 1, they've done a stellar job. It is ridiculously fun to play about with ridiculously fun to experiment with and I'm looking forward to more really am and I'm gonna see if I can use my morph ball to sneak through here oh no I can't that sucks I'm just the right size as well damn it that annoys me but that's that's why I want custom made levels that is why custom made levels will be awesome And facing off against space pirates will be something that I'd, I'd really like to do. There is there is a bit of facing off you can do, provided you've downloaded the right map pack. The creator of this has bundled a few extra levels that you can experiment with, but they're, they're not very challenging, they're just kind of test levels. That's why I prefer kind of playing through this. Because it gives you a few more interesting enemy placements to deal with. And a bit of a challenge further on down the line. But I'm going to shut up a bit more now because I'm running out of things to say. And I want you guys to just enjoy the carnage. I might say the occasional holy shit. <laughs> because I've got a few more super missiles left to unleash. But not just yet. In fact, I'm actually kind of lost. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm always kind of stuck on this kind of level. I'm sure. 
I'm sure that there is a correct way around. The arrows are pointing me this way. I'm sure that's a, where I'm supposed to go, but yeah, I'm in I'm in two minds. Come on, reveal your secrets. Where is the way out? I can see the long shot beam down there as well. That's something I quite like to try out. They do have. I don't know if the chroma beam was a feature of Metroid Prime, but it, it's basically a rapid fire beam of death. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Actually, let's bring up the map. I've explored all the way around here. I don't need to explore any longer. There is a locked door back this way. Cool. No, no, no. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way again. God damn it. Here we go. Red door. That's what we wanted. And that's a Hell Knight who is now frozen. Okay, let's see how long it takes us to flatten this guy. Not very long at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite disappointed. This chain gun guy is more of a bloody... Oh. I think I was stuck in a little bit of an awkward position where my beams just went reaching him up the stairway. Oh well. Gatling gun guys are apparently more of a challenge than Hell Knights. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little playthrough of Metroid Dreadnought. It is still in... Early, early development. If you want to check it out, there will be links in the description below. Feel free to yell at me if I haven't included them. But this has been Metroid Dreadnought. Yet another crazy Doom mashup that has been quite fun to play. Not quite on the same level as uh, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic Doom. Sonic Robo... Ba Robo... Dash? Robo... Something or other. Robo Blast 2 is the name. That's the name. It was ridiculous fun. I'm going to have to revisit that at some point, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that YouTube crap. This has been Mr. Icarus. Icarus out. <laughs>